Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos and the UC Irvine Anteaters. Number 21 is, brings that upperclassman mentality and maturity his teammates need. He's a senior player that brings a professional attitude to the floor. The Anteaters will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. The Anteaters face a whale of an opponent tonight, Dick. How do they pull this one out? The keys to the game are simple, Brad. First, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. Next, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. Finally, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vital. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Double team now, bad angle. Sets the screen for his teammate. Great play to take that to the basket. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Shows patience waiting for the reset. The power forward with the ball. And up. Number three is feeling it right now. And he's on fire. He attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball. Blocked! Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert, get the number game going. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Trying to pack it inside. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. the low block there they come with a double team to stop it and the ball goes out of bounds boy assist to turnover ratios are big and that's a big turnover I'll tell you they're turning the ball over too often you can't win when you do that he'll regroup the offense the defender is still applying great ball pressure Brad goes up for two and off the mark Inside, turns it over. The point guard takes the pass, takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Looking for a good shot, and the ball goes out of play. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Moving it around the perimeter. Inside, 
Sort of dunk down inside. Nobody rotated down from up on top. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. For two, in and out. Number 21 is emotionally pumped up. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. There's a double team waiting there. Number 42 with the steal. The post flashes up high if he wants it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The point guard gets the pass. Trying to draw some contact on the dribble, gives it up. Entry pass in the paint. Contact causes the shot to come off. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Number 42 draws the personal. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number 42 steps to the line for the first time. Dashed it in. And he got them both. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He pulls the trigger, way off target. Pass down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. There's the trap. There he is, strips the ball loose. Number 15 takes the feed. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's a nice block from behind, Dick, and his shot rejected. The ball goes out of play. It. They don't seem to be getting any decent shot opportunities there. Because they're looking in the wrong places, Brad. Number 21 gets the, gets the rejection. Poor job on the offensive end. Great job defensively rotating to the basketball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. UC Santa Barbara are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. He goes with a baby hook. Can't get the shot to go. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. And now they'll bring it up. Number three is called for the foul. Second team foul. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them.
Number 12 to the line, shooting two. You, you can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing like football special situation. You got to be able to execute there. Gets a second. They scored nine in a row. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. From the top of the circle. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. it fly off the rim and no good working it around the perimeter tries for two can't get the shot to drop gave it up He goes for three. He buries it. From beyond the arc. Way off target. In anticipation defensively. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Goes up for two. You betcha. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter for two, and in and out. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Stolen away. Got to get back on defense for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Both teams looking to get things going here. Fires away, way off target. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He attempts the trifecta off the rim and no good. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Gets it to fall. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, there's a lot of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff can't seem to get anyone in sync. It's certainly not the game we anticipated seeing. In fact, some of these fans around me can't believe it either. All right, thanks, Aaron. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. 
He'll look at a pair of free throws. First shot, no good. Second one, good. Number three wants some encouragement from the fans. He wants everyone up for the next possession. Tries for two. In and out. Look at that spacing. Trying to draw the foul. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. And off the mark. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? For two, and in and out. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Number 42 with a finger roll. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Here's a flash from the high post. He shoots from the top of the key. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. a pass. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. And a momentary look from three-point land. Sinks the shot. Show me that one again. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Post flashes for the ball handler. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Looking around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. It's good. pass in the paint. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little.
That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Scorches the net. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A uh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper from right at the circle. Oh, yes. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Tries for two. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. On the inside. Goes up for two. The Anteaters have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Defense, 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 defense. The frustration right there. Number 33 wants even more support from the fans, Dick. I think he feels the importance of this defensive possession, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards out there. Yeah, that helps. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. High post flashes for the opportunity. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gets it back out from three-point range. Way off target. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. With a great block. The ball goes out of bounds. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Can't get the shot to go. For two, and off the mark. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> for three, off the rim and no good. At halftime, the Gauchos lead by 11. Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game. Dick, what's your highlight of the first half? There was some nice inside play in the first half. We'll have to see which team continues to pound the ball inside in the second half. The teams are just about ready to start the second half. Dick, let's see how this one unfolds. Number two has played a pretty good game, but pretty good isn't going to be enough to help him on the scoreboard tonight, I don't think. I think he's taken what the opposition has given him and not being aggressive enough. Look for him to be more assertive in the second half. Dick, start of the second half. We take a look at our focused player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. 
And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Moving it around the perimeter. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Way off target. Top of the circle. Goes in. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. He throws up the shot. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Number 42 with the fake. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They work the perimeter. From three-point territory, way off target. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. You can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Tries for two. They're having a rough time getting it on the drop, Brad. They should take it to the basket and get some easy hoops. Goes up for two. And he missed. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Jump hook from the low post. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. The Anteaters are trailing by 10. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He shoots from the top of the circle. They move it into the front court. Perfectly executed. On the inside. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with the shot. Off the rim and no good. Picked out of the air. The Gauchos have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. From the top of the key, way off target. And 
And a momentary look from three-point land for two. He drains it. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. For the bucket, buried it. On the dribble, gives it up. Got to think right now, got to focus defensively. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Looking for a good shot. He does the sweet fake shot. Pushing that basketball. Stolen away. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Isn't it great, Brad? Great pressure. Great double team. Really explosive. This kid's been nothing short of magnificent on defense. He's creating absolute havoc out there. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Working it around the perimeter. From right at the circle. That's good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He is going to the line. Makes his first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, MBN. Double team now, bad angle. Oh, what a strip, Red. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Number 33 comes up with it. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They strip him in their basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. For two, and in and out. Now they work it around the perimeter. He wants a three. You bet. They work the perimeter. Defense giving some room. Jumps into the defender. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That's a 7-0 run. Oh, 
He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. And he missed. Picks off the pass. Coming back the other way. Way out on top. Vasquez good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when he needed him, baby. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. He goes to the free throw line. He gets it to go. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. The Anteaters' composure just took a big hit. They've been shooting themselves in the foot. They better get their emotions in check. Picks off the lazy pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Jumps in. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebounding ability. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. And a momentary look from three-point land. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. From three-point land. Off the rim and no good. Makes the shot. That's 14 unanswered. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Leans in. Number 14 makes the finger roll. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Aaron's right about that, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Gave it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Nice little jam right there, the one hand jam and stuff. Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Turnaround jumper. Doesn't go. Picked off. 
UC Santa Barbara have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Entry pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. They work it around the perimeter. Control of the ball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And the fadeaway jumper. Look at that follow through. I tell you, you've got to be exceptional to make that shot. Because a lot of coaches don't like it because you're going away. You're not in rebound position. You better make it count. Intercepted. Fake. And they get the turnover. It fly way off target. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. Goes up for two. And in and out. Here's a double team. He bombs from outside. He's money with the shot. He pump fakes. Time to pick up the defense here now. He hits it. Barring some sort of miracle, I think this one could be over, Dick. It sure is, Brad. They have no chance of getting back into this one. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. There's a double team waiting there. From downtown, he's taking too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. <laughs> Trying to draw some contact. And he missed. Sinks it. There's the trap. You run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Layup, son. I'm telling you, Brad, you can have a field day against these guys. Let's put a uniform on. Nobody within 10 feet of an easy basket again. I mean, unbelievable. It's blowout city. Cross court. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact.
have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They still don't score. On the dribble, gives it up. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. Gave it up. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Look at that spacing. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. They're working around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He gets the bucket to fall. One on the shot clock. He intercepts it. Makes it. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Off the mark with a shot. Great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. UC Irvine gets blown out. The question is, is anyone surprised? It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.